Oh, I finally got it working. Oh, thank God. Um, let me just um, let me just try and move um, so you guys can see me, like, or make the screen bigger. Uh, hi, good evening, guys. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Let me just try and reposition myself because I look like I have half a face right now. So let me just... Try and... Oh, the thing is running away from me. Um, so, I hope you guys are doing well. I've had a trying day with Facebook Live. Uh, you know when technology just doesn't work? That's what happened to me today. Um, There we go. Now I can get myself positioned right. So now I don't look like I have half a head. Um, let me come a bit uh, closer. Come a little closer. Don't be shy. Come a little closer. Get extra, extra dry. And an extra dry. I think, I think that is. Don't worry, I'm nutty. Uh, it's like early evening, so I get kind of loopy. Um, <laughs> but I'm here, um, and I'm here to talk about creativity. I had one of those uh, weird uh, prophetic um, dream, uh, like sleep wake things again. And this time I saw, you know, like the chicken soup books. Um, I saw a series of books of people writing after Corona saying what Corona did for me. And it had different editions. It had the nurses edition. It had the entrepreneurs edition. It had the doctors edition. It had the preachers edition. And I think, I think major creativity is going to come out in this time. Um, most times in when you're talking about, not just Corona, but when you're talking about most of the time in trials, um, things come out of it that you would never have dreamt of, that you could never have thought of and the Lord is really going to spawn creativity so all you business leaders out there all you all you um, preachers out there would be preachers 
start getting creative with your gifts. Like, take out that book outline or create that book outline. Um, you know, start that creative project because it will take off. A lot of you have been sitting on creativity thinking that, oh, no, I'm too old or no, that's too stupid or whatever. The Lord saying to, to everyone out there, no, it's not too stupid. Do it. If the Lord has put something in your heart to do, and even if you're not sure if it's the Lord, step out and do it. And when you step out, he will honor that and do his will through you. But if you don't step out, he has nothing to work through. And the amount of creativity I saw coming out of this thing, I saw like, as I said, um, the What Corona Did For Me book series. And it was a collection of stories just like chicken soup uh, with different editions. Like uh, the preachers had their own edition, like I said, and the nurses. And abundant creativity is going to come out, has already came out of uh, Corona COVID. Um, the amount of pastors I've seen just do some really creative things during this time. It's amazing. Um, Mike Todd being one of them and uh, Rich Brokerson and all of those people and even uh, T. Jakes. I've never seen Bishop so much online and on YouTube and just educating not only bringing the word that's one thing that's wonderful that's what he does best but uh, but educating people in the african american community about getting jobs at home and and educating them on coronavirus and oh bring bringing guests on like, it's just so incredible. So creativity is definitely already coming out of coronavirus, but you don't need um, T.D. Jakes to be creative. You just need the mind. And the Lord said in his word, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Um, so the mind of Christ is creative when um, how did he how did he make the world he said it, the Bible said in the beginning um, the earth was without form and void um, it had nothing except water and it said and God said let there be light and there was light so whatever he created he spoke it so don't only write it down and write the vision and make it plain that's the first step but speak it speak the creative thing into being <laughs> even though it may seem crazy there's something in my life now that uh, seems crazy, and I'm having trouble speaking it, but the Lord said, speak it, because if you don't give it a voice, there is no way that he can, he can use that creativity for his glory. So even if it does sound stupid, even to yourself at first, give it a voice. What is God speaking to you? Give it a voice. First of all, write it down. Codify it. Give it a voice. Um, that's what he's saying. He's saying, 
tremendous creativity will come out of this time of uh, COVID and co co COVID corona. And he'll say that he said that it's time for us as people, Christians and non Christians, to get creative um, or to to release our creative juices. What dreams have been in your head? What goals have been in your head that that you have thought were too stupid to dream about? Not only dream them, codify them and speak them. What I mean by codify is just simply write them down. Because he wants to help you achieve them, but without codifying and speaking them, they're not going to come to pass. Words are very important to God. He says he exalts his word higher than his name. So his word is important. And because we're like God, our word is important. So don't be afraid of what God is telling you. Don't be afraid to get plans together for that business or that new um, innovative idea that you think is stupid and that you just want to just, you know, hide away. Don't hide it away. Bring it out because he's going to use it. Even if the idea doesn't turn out, the way that you want, it will lead to what he wants it to do. So even if the idea takes a different shape and it's not the way you envisioned, it will do what he wants it to do. Because it's not your idea. It's his vision incarnate, and the carnet is you. Um, and the person he, he's using is you. He put, he put that idea in you. So bring it forth. You have the talent. You have the gifting. You have everything you need to bring that idea forth. You'll be like, Oh, well, I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. Well, what God gave me a few years ago, he said, where purpose greets you, money meets you, resources meet you. Um, just simply meaning when you're in purpose or the purpose that he's, he's selected for you, resources, money, people, that all will come, but you have to take the first step. And I know it's hard to do. Believe me, I've been in some situations where it's been hard to do and, and it seems hopeless, but don't give up. It will accomplish what he wants it to accomplish. It his word will not return on to him void. So if his word says to you that you are blessed and highly favored, you can take that to the bank. If he, if he gave you a word, it's actually his word, but he needs to use you to do it. And I said a moment ago that his word does not return on to him void. It must accomplish what it set out to do to the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, so codify it, write it down and speak it and don't be afraid. It doesn't matter how foolish it sounds. It doesn't matter how big it is. It, it is, it is essential that you achieve the word that he's put in you because it's not for you. It's for the generations behind you that need it. 
that idea, that business idea, that sermon idea, that all of that is for him to achieve his purpose. And it's for people to get blessed from, to get healed from, to get restored from. So it's not for you, it's for the generation coming behind you. It's it's a generational thing. So if you don't do it, generations will suffer for it. But if you do do it, generations will be blessed to no end. Uh, so, guys, I will see you, uh, if not tomorrow, then Wednesday. I will see you sometime this week, um, probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow and Wednesday. I'll see what the Lord is putting in my spirit. It's so funny. Um, before, I used to have a set schedule of when I preached or a set thing of how I preached, but uh, the Lord, hi Brian, the Lord uh, really, really is taking me to a place where I'm letting him lead. So sometimes it might be twice a week, sometimes it might be every day, sometimes it just depends on when he drops the word in my spirit, but the word will always be, um, the word will always be um, in my Facebook thing. So even if you missed any past messages, they're all on my Facebook wall and you can go back to it anytime. Um, take care. Have a good evening. Bye.